I'm David Stroop and I teach physics, and especially AP Physics and Chemistry here at Franklin High School. I've always been interested in science, and I went back and forth a little bit about what exactly I wanted to study. So the more I looked at it, the more that looked like the field for me. I mean, it fascinated me, and it is a gateway to a lot of other stuff. Well, I went to school at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and I was on the six-year plan, also known as just messing around and changing my major a few times. So I studied undergraduate physics there, uh, got a BS, and because I was messing around, took a lot of other science classes also. Uh, now with a BS in physics, I actually went off and became a reporter for quite a few years. Then went back to school here at PSU, got my master's in secondary education, as well as some additional science classes while I I've got to admit, it was the science that attracted me first. I didn't set out to become a teacher, I set out to become a science teacher. Just fundamentally, I believe that a science education is incredibly important. This is giving people the information that they need, the understanding of the universe they need to make good decisions in their own lives, and also to make good decisions in public policy. Now, frankly, my generation is leaving the next generation with a horrible mess. Whether or not people understand science is going to make the difference between whether they can make the right decisions or whether things go in the other direction. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton called it the system of the world. It's like the hidden operating system behind how everything works. It's why there is something instead of nothing. It gives us a, a fundamental understanding of how things work at the most basic level and as kind of the mother science, and in some ways the most fundamental one, it is the gateway to a lot of other things. My name is Dr. Sansi Chow Moyers, and I teach AP Biology and Biology here at Franklin. I have always just been fascinated by nature. Originally, I was super in love with marine life, and I decided I wanted to be a mermaid when I grew up. My parents started talking to me about more viable career options. And so I started down the path of really marine biology. I was so interested, went to a magnet school, which was then the environmental middle school, now Sunnyside Environmental. Went and got a biology degree, but I specialized in zoology, so the biology of animals at Oregon State. And then I moved on to being a research scientist at Virginia Tech while I was getting my doctorate. My observations and curiosity in general just kept driving me toward biology for my entire life. As a professional, after my undergraduate experience at Oregon State where I got my bachelor's, I was actually working there as um, a research assistant when I was going to school and I worked in several labs. When you're getting your doctorate, you're really working as a researcher and a teacher at the same time as you're taking classes and working on your degree. So I did a lot of research on infectious disease biology and behavioral ecology there, published some papers, and kept teaching after that. I personally believe that biology is incredibly empowering. It can help us understand ourselves, our own, our bodies, our health, our physiology. It also helps us understand the world around us, whether that be social dynamics, the natural world. It can also be empowering in terms of making good informed decisions about our health, the, our voting practices, uh, policies, and getting involved in our communities as well. I love teaching for a million reasons because I get to meet so many amazing students and also especially teaching biology or teaching science in general. It's just a wonderful place for us to lean into our curiosities and really get to play and explore and discover together.